going on everyone? It's Brain with Jacoji you Fine Jewelry, your personal jeweler. If you see me, I got the 3mm diamond cut 26 inch 22 karat Franco chain on. Brought these to the website, really excited about it. A lot of people love them. Some people have questions regarding the higher purity chains and I want to make this video discussing durability and everything that goes along with such a beautiful chain like this Franco. So with that being said, Let's get started. Now, when we're talking about 22 karat gold, it's 90 plus percent pure gold in this chain. If I told you all the negative things about wearing gold jewelry, dent, break, scratch, you'd be turned off about it and probably wouldn't even buy it. It's the same thing when you're watching TV and you see like an allergy pill that can help you with your allergies. When at the very end, they run off all the side effects that could possibly happen, heart attack, kidney failure, whatever. It all like, you're like, is it even worth taking that allergy pill over all those side effects? Same thing with gold. Now, as a consumer and you're doing your research like you are, that's why you're probably watching this video, you have to take everything with a grain of salt, even this video, or if you go into a store, like if you're in the US and you go into an average jewelry store, most likely they're not gonna have 22 karat gold, they'll have 18 karat gold, and even that is limited. So you have to be kind of careful, and that's how a lot of the information spreads around because a jewelry store is meant to sell what they have in their showcase. They've already most likely paid for it, so if they have majority of 10 karat stuff, they're gonna push you on 10 karat is very durable, good for daily wear. They're gonna sell you on it. And if you say, oh, I want a 22 karat gold, I want a lot of gold around the neck, I like the look of it, they're gonna be like, wait a second, 22 karat, you cannot wear it at all. And I think that's where a lot of people form these opinions because these stores are telling them what they want to tell them to sell them on what the stores want to sell them and I just want to talk a little bit about the truth on these beautiful chains and 22 karat gold, 24 karat gold in general. Facts are facts, the largest gold consumers, India and China and what do they buy? Higher purity jewelry only. You can't go to them talking 10 karat, 14 K for durability. They will laugh at you just as some of you laughed at me for bringing in these 22 karat Francos. But at the end of the day as well, the fact is gold is very soft. You can take 24 karat, bend it with your own hands. So that leads to the preference choice. It's lifestyle, just like selecting what style chain you want, what length chain you want. It's the same thing with what purity you want as well. A day like today, I'm doing videos, I'm doing office work. I would not wear this chain every single day. I have my flat curves that are in 14 karat gold for that. I wouldn't consider working out in it, bench pressing it, playing pickup basketball in it. I just wear this once in a while, put it away when I feel like just standing out because nothing matches the color and the weight of the higher purity. The 22 karat gold chains are just beautiful. They stand out. Not a lot of people around me are wearing 22 karat, so when I walk into the room, I already know I'm the top dog because I got that 22 karat. And when you're a gold lover and connoisseur like I am, it's a good feeling to have the higher purities. And that's what I recommend. I'm more mature. If I was in my early 20s and just wild, I would not wear this chain, but I'm more mature. I break it out on special occasions and that's how the higher purity, the 22 karat works for me. I don't plan on wearing this every day. It's not an everyday chain because I know what gold does, but if you're mature and if you have the right wear for it, then all means it won't damage on you. It's not gonna break on you. It'll stay the same, just like my 14 karat gold chains that I wear once in a while. They'll all stay the same. I do not fear this. These are very expensive. I would not invest in bringing these chains in if I do, didn't believe that, you know, they're gonna hold up over time. That's what this is all about. That's what gold is all about. You're not buying gold to just wear it for six months and then something happens to it. You buy it to have it for a lifetime and I will have this chain for a lifetime. 22 karat is beautiful. I don't have any 24 karat besides the pants, but for this, the Franco, it works. Very nice chain. I love it. So at the end of the day, at the end of this video, which this is the end of this video, it is preference. It, reach out to me if you have any other questions. I don't recommend putting like huge pendants on these things. I just recommend this look right here on a day like today. If you just have a low key day, then all means go rock that 22 karat gold. That's it for today's video, and we will see you on our next jewelry video.